Hello dear students, chapter 7 reveals a secret which also turns to be a terrible one. What do you think the secret is about and how was it revealed? The children always asked about father, but they never received answers. But they never forgot their father especially Bobby who always thought about him, wondered why was father away for so long? Was there something that mother wasn't telling them? Let's go to the bottom of page 39, the paragraph starts by. The answer came on the day she went to the station to fetch the magazines. They were old magazines which people left on trains or in the waiting room. Perks said the children could have them to read, and one day Bobby went to fetch them. I will just put some newspaper around them to keep them together, said Perks. Here Bobby will learn the real reason of her father's absence by coincidence. Let's read, how did she discover? It's found in page 40, second paragraph. The magazines were heavy, and Bobby stopped to rest on the way home. She sat on the grass and dropped them beside her. As she did this, she looked at the newspaper and read some of the words on the page, and it was like a terrible dream. What was this terrible thing that she discovered? It's found at the bottom of page 40. Five years in prison for spy. And the name of the spy was the name of her father. So it was a mere coincidence that Bobby discovered the terrible secret about her father and got the answers for all her questions. How do you think she reacted after knowing such a big secret like that? At the top of page 41, Bobby was very quiet at tea time. This shows that she was a very responsible young girl as she couldn't reveal the secret to her siblings, as she doesn't know if it's true or not. She confronted her mother who defended her husband and said, he's good and honest and he has done nothing wrong said mother. We have to remember that. However, mother had another opinion about what actually happened to her husband. She started to tell Bobby the truth about the two men who visited them. It's found in page 41, a paragraph starts by, you remember the two men who came to see daddy at the old house, don't you? said mother. They said he was a spy, and that he had sold government secrets to another country. There were some letters in daddy's desk at his office. When the police saw them, they were sure daddy was a spy. Bobby wanted to know more and kept asking, but how did the letters get into his desk? asked Bobby. Somebody put them there said mother. And that person is the real spy. But the man who got daddy's job never liked him, and he always wanted daddy's job. So mother suspected the man who worked with her husband is the one that framed him as he never liked him and always wanted his job. What did mother ask Bobby to do? Let's open page 42, start by, I have tried everything. There is nothing we can do except be brave and patient. Now we won't talk of this anymore, my darling try not to think of it. It's easier for me if you can be happy and enjoy things. Do you think Bobby, as we know her, will actually listen to her mother and keep quiet? Let's see, second paragraph page 42 starts by, but Bobby didn't think about it. She didn't talk to Peter or Phillies, but she wrote a letter to the old gentleman. Out pf persistence she didn't accept her mother's decision to be patient and quiet about her father's case so she decided to seek the old gentleman's help as he was a trustworthy person, and he didn't fail her in the first time when she asked him for help. Let's read the letter in page 42. My dear friend, you see what is in this newspaper. It's not true. Further never did it. Mother say someone put the letters in father's desk, and she thinks it's the man who got father's job. But nobody listens to her. You are good and clever. Can you find out the name of the real spy? It's not father. Peter and Phyllis don't know he is in prison. Can you help me? Oh, do help me. With love from your friend Bobby. This letter shows how persistent she is and how much she cares about her siblings, as she didn't want to disturb them by telling them the truth about their father. In the end dear students, don't forget that you must refer to the PDF and highlight the same highlighted parts in your own book and copy the comments as well.